How's everybody doing? So this is that cedar tree. You can see the base now. This uh, it's really hard now. This fast mash, which is just a commercial paper mache. You can see the bottom of the tree there. See, that's just from the parchment paper line. That's just the under the root system. It's funny when you build like this. It's almost you know, represents the anatomy of the tree in sort of strange ways. <laughs> but um, I really like this part quite a bit. Uh, I, uh, I mean, I love everything about this hobby. The model railroad hobby is just, if you embrace the whole thing collectively, it, there's, there's no end to, you know, um, interests, right? <laughs> You know, if, like I think I mentioned this before, right? Uh, even if there's areas that you're not confident, in, like try them anyway. I do. Like I've already pointed out, I think, about electronics. I just forge ahead, but I just take baby steps. And that's what it's about. Like, that's one of the reasons why I think the model railroad hobby is so appealing to people. Because the challenge, like the problem solving. That's why I think it's a great family hobby, like to get your kids involved and stuff. Because... Uh, like my dad himself didn't do that. He was into leather work and stuff, you know, with the punches and sort of a lost art now. But uh, he used to do unbelievable, like just belts and and uh, pouches, like even leather uh, pictures, like with stamps and burning tools. Like I don't know if anybody's familiar with that, but it's sort of a lost art. But he was really good at that. I remember, but. Uh, yeah, but I discovered model railroading just on my own as a kid, you know. But uh, the more and more I got into it, especially after the military modeling early in the 70s and 80s, when I realized that you could do a scene, you know, that would just be so cool. You can create any scene you want, right? And that you just keep at it, and the more you do it, the better you get. Like, I was told that. You know, was, you know my dad told me that, like, if you want prosperity in your life, you got to work hard. If you want some bliss... You got to accept the pain as well. And uh, this is just some good old raw umber. <clears throat> I'm just going to play around with this. I got, um, I got some light gray there and some rust and raw umber and dark brown. Play around with this cedar. Sometimes you just got to put paint on and just see what it does. You know. That's what I do. And sometimes it's just the very simple, I just like just that little bit right there that, you know, kind of does it, right? <laughs> so like the more you play with it, you know, the, the worse it gets, it seems sometimes. Um, so you can see that the, I added some static grass here as well. Um, Cause it's going to sit in that spot and I built up a perimeter of grass to kind of cover this edge a bit to hide it sort of because I want to be able to lift this out because I want to get my camera in there I mentioned earlier like if you're going to build a shelf layout especially for people that are into you doing YouTube as hard as it is to build a channel believe me it is you got to be dedicated and you got to be organized and because uh, I got a regular job well part-time regular job too so and a family so you got to be structured and disciplined but anyway if you want to get your camera in to certain angles to shoot your layout to show people you know what you see because what you see they don't always see so you got to create uh, those avenues of uh, you know those perspectives and camera angle shots and there's always going to be something in the way when it's a miniature always like it's just, it never translates well. It's like, you know, like the challenge for me is I try not to oversaturate my video or photographs because I know they, people do a lot of that because of the thumbnail culture, you know, do a flashy thumbnail and everybody clicks on it. But that's not reality, though. Right? That's not how you view it. 
It just gets people, it just triggers people to click on it. And then, you know, it's, it can be a big disappointment if, it, if the video doesn't render, you know, what the actual thumbnail looks like. So it's always a challenge to try to get people's attention because it's very competitive. But I find that uh, I'm, I'm always competing against myself. Like I'm always saying, okay, so how can I do this better? Like, how can I, you know, uh, make something look a little more authentic? And it just comes with practice, you know? Like I hear people sometimes say, oh, I'm scared to do this. Just try, do it. Right? Like, it's like, you know, the old, like, a good analogy is, is I used, you know, I never liked cold water much. I mean, I grew up swimming on the coast. It's not that cold, really. We're not, just because we're in the north, it's, it's not as cold. I mean, the Pacific can be, but, um, like, I can remember we used to go up to s swimming in rivers and creeks and the mountains, and it was like, whoa, right? And I always found that if you just dive, just dive in, dive in, and once you dove in, it was like, oh, this isn't that bad, you know? And then before you know it, you're acclimatized and uh, you're doing it all the time and it's no big deal. So I think that artwork and model railroading, many aspects of it, is really like that. You know, I think we, uh, you know, we get gripped by fear and uh, we just never do it, right? And fear is never the ominous villain that we make it out to be, right? Once you just say, make a decision, the human will can overcome anything. Right? And you got to do that with this hobby, right? You say, ah, I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care what it looks like. I'm going to try it. I always, like, I'm always doing that. I'm always trying new things. You know, I just say, you know, I'm going to try this, this new color. I'm going to try this and so what if it doesn't turn, what do you mean turn out? Like, how is it supposed to turn out? It's supposed to be a, represent, uh, a representation, a manifestation of you in a moment in time, space, and history. That's, that's what your railroad should be. It should reflect you at that time. Everybody evolves. It's just an evolution like anything, right? And uh, we detect and see as we practice uh, as things start to look different and more appealing. So, you know, you just got to do it. That's all I did. I remember when I was a kid, I remember, you know, uh, I just wasn't a good modeler when I first started out. I was average, Joe average, and there were kids that were really good at it. Some, like in the local shows. Geez, they had model contests and shoppers, drug mart, every hobby store. It was sort of different back then in the 70s, you know. Uh, the you know the Pacific National Exhibitions, and I just started. I I just said, you know, I'm going to keep working at this. And uh, just just it's, it's just a natural occurrence that we all get better at it you know, the more we practice it. You can't just inherit it. You know, gift uh, uh, having a gift is really means that you you're uh, um, given the uh, ability to cultivate passion and then you still have to make the decision to do it that should uh maybe do okay i'm going to airbrush a little bit of the grass and then i'll i'll revisit that again and like i say like um i never try to finish something in one sitting like it just doesn't work that way um like on the bar sip you'll see a whole line of trees like this I, I stabbed those in two years ago like that, but they're not all, not all going to stay like that. I'm probably going to remove one or two, but I don't rush it, right? Because like, I might, like, like I put a signal stand in, pull this tree out. I want to see, and I want to see that part of the building, but I couldn't know that when I first built it, right? You just got to be patient. That's why I emphasize the smaller footprint layout, because you can live with it, you know, easier, and you can work it over endlessly and create a nice little world that you can enjoy and you'll quickly soon realize that um, you don't need a big sprawling massive layout to be happy with that like in the hobby